and Kevin in just a moment. You'll mm -hmm. be speaking with uh, Bassi Shemtov and Caitlin Cartwright from the Friendship Circle about a, a topic really important to us here in the greater West Bloomfield community from an organization based right out of here as they have some special events coming up very soon. Yes, yeah, very interested when I found the story about what they have going on this upcoming uh, uh, art festival or art uh, um, uh, event, I should say, just to keep it pretty in general. Just to give us a little bit more insight on what's going on, we are being joined currently by founder and director Bassi Shimtov, as well as Caitlin Cartwright from the Friendship Circle. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Thanks you so much for having us. Absolutely. So I want to start first and foremost by kind of painting this picture for myself and our audience and letting us know who and what the Friendship Circle is exactly. I would love for you to explain that, please, Bassie. Sure. So Friendship Circle is an organization that really reaches out to anybody who may be in isolation and who needs community, who needs friendship. And that's what we want to be here for. So whether it's children, teens, adults, uh, people suffering from addiction, mental health struggles, you need community, we're here for you. It's simple, it, it, it's exactly what it sounds like, friendship circle. And you know what's you know what's so crazy about that is, there's this common thing that it's easier to make friends when you're kids, but then when you're adults, you don't necessarily meet new friends like that. You just have your coworkers and, and you go home for the most part. So that's always interesting to have a space where you can create that friendship within your community. So that's very interesting. What, what was the motivation behind you founding, starting, creating, getting behind this friendship circle? So my husband and I always knew we would do some kind of outreach growing up. Uh, we thought we were gonna do religious outreach, which is under the Chabad movement. And one of the main inspirations that we've gotten from our leader, Rabbi Schneerson, was to really be able to look at a person for their soul and not for what enclosed their soul. Yes. And so thinking about individuals with special needs, especially when you go back 30 years ago, um, the stigma that was attached to it and the judgment that was attached to it, we were saying, you are a beautiful person. It doesn't matter whether you struggle with addiction or after that, if you had, were born with some, with special needs, if you can't speak, if you can't walk, who is here to judge? You have that beautiful potential and that beautiful soul, and we are here to help reveal that potential and allow you to be the beautiful person that you are. Mm, oh, Bassie, talk to me, talk to me. I love that. I can get behind that 100%, 100%. And I love that you all started that, and that is the motivation and the mission. Speaking of mission, Caitlin, I want to ask you, can you tell us more about the inspiration behind this event, Submerged, and this Submerged exhibition, I should say, exhibit, and just talk about um the ties to the mission of the Friendship Circle also. Caitlin. Absolutely. Yeah. So one of the things that's going on with the Friendship Circle is the Soul Studio. Um, and that's a supported art studio for adults with special needs um, to create really beautiful art to follow what their vision is and make it a reality. Um, so we've been working hard in the studio over the past couple of months. Every one of our artists has been focused on making art that is underwater themed. So mm -hmm. it's been really exciting to see the studio come to life with all different interpretations of yeah. ocean sunsets, underwater sea creatures, just really fun, beautiful art in all mediums. Um, so on May 2nd, we're going to have an amazing gallery opening open to the public. We invite everyone to come and check it out, see some really creative, beautiful art, meet our artists and get to know a little bit more. Nice, nice. So, so kind of piggybacking off of that, it's it's so interesting because I literally just left Toronto and we went to the aquarium there, the Ripley's Aquarium. So I saw uh -huh. the, the sharks and, and the different animals. So then, kind of relating that to putting that into art now, it's so it's. I love art just in general. I could just stare at it and just get my own interpretation of it. And that's that's what I think we all should appreciate about art. Joining us right now, just talking about the Submerged Art Exhibit um, hosted by the Friendship Circle West Bloomfield. We have founder and director Bassi Shimtov as well as Caitlin Cartwright joining us talking about this event. What how do you what do you hope attendees will take away from experiencing this artwork? in the submerged exhibition or exhibit, excuse me if I'm saying that wrong, Caitlin, please. 
I hope that people come and they feel inspired um, to tap into their own creativity. Like you just said, you know, it's so inspiring to be around, like to see other people's creativity and see what their minds yes. come up with. Um, yes. We hope that people just come, get to know our artists and see the amazing work that they're putting out into the world. Right, right. And, and are, are these local artists, are these artists specifically from the friendship circle? Who are the artists exactly? So these are all adults with special needs um, from the oh, West right, Bloomfield right. area and beyond mm -hmm, who come mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. programming. And we operate in a workshop format where people can join and kind of have a dual benefit of having community, building friendships, having a great safe space to be while also developing their creative um, choices. Okay, now that brings up a good point. I'm glad you reminded me of that. So, Bassie, uh, my question to you is essentially, how do you feel this event contributes to raising awareness and fostering the understanding about the challenges uh, faced by some of these individuals that are supported by the Friendship Circle? Great question. At the Soul Studio, that is where the real base of the mission just comes to shine. So mm -hmm. I cannot tell you, I mean, I feel like this studio just opened two weeks ago because if I get an opportunity, even 10 minutes to walk around and just be in the presence of all of these right. incredible human beings while they're creating art, for, I mean, just it, besides the fact that it's just beautiful and inspiring, being in their presence as they're creating is something you never tire of. So here they're coming with all their beautiful artwork and they're presenting it to the community and we get to have a chance where just the typical person out there who maybe never even encountered, you know, close by somebody with special needs, they get to come and be a part of that community. It's not only a win for our artists, to be honest. I feel like mm -hmm. it's a huge win for the typical person who has no clue what life is like to be connected with somebody that sees the world in a much purer way. So That's it is that. just, it, it's the greatest environment to be at. I really encourage everyone to come and see the show. You will not regret coming. Yes, please, and, and please give those details again. May 2nd uh, is the event uh, in the location. Please give out more information in regards the to location. that. Oh, Caitlin, yeah, oh, go ahead. The location is 5586 Drake Road at the Soul mm -hmm. Studio Farber Center. Um, and the the show goes from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Nice, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And what other initiatives or events does the Friendship Circle have planned to continue providing assistance and support to families and individuals that are faced with various challenges? I'll start with you, Caitlin, please. We have a ton of really exciting art stuff coming up. Um, I work specifically with community partnerships. So we are partnering with different like real estate building companies throughout the city um, to get our artwork out where people can see it and love it and be inspired by it. Nice. Any last words, parting words, Bassie? Coming to this, if you want it, looking to volunteer, uh, we have our great annual walk for friendship, September 1st, just coming around the corner, believe it or not, it happens quick. Mm -hmm. um, that's our annual largest fundraiser and really community uh, support event. So it's a free event, actually, for everyone to come with their families. Uh, it is going to be an amazing walk as well as fun entertainment afterwards. So, yeah, come, come learn more about us by coming to our cafe and our studio. Absolutely. Thank you again for your time. From the Friendship Circle, West Bloomfield, Bassi Shimtov, Caitlin Cartwright, join us talking about Submerged exhibition that they have going on coming up May 2nd. Thank you again for your time. Thank you so, Thank you much. so much. Have a great day.